short notice, Santiago Ponzinibbio was slated to fight uh, Robbie Lawler, a southpaw, on five days' notice. He gave you an orthodox fighter out of Fortis MMA who's tough as hell, very studious, um, very sharp mentally. And Alex Morona looked good, bro. He looked good in that first round. I was actually worried. I was like, man, he's putting it on Ponzinibbio. I was surprised here, AJ, because... I wasn't actually surprised. I thought that Alex Morono, the one thing that could switch this thing up is that he's going to start using that jujitsu, start wrestling a little bit, you know what I mean, and start attacking the ground game. Never did that stand-up war, which ended up seeing him, I mean, listen, after, I mean, round three, when Ponzinibbio says, that's when I start figuring out the fight, my timing starts, you know, being a little bit sharper, and then I start landing, and, you know, he got it on. Alex Morono, he finished him, bro. That was surprising. Was it worth it on the great white, uh, great white, Alex Morono, on his part, was it worth it to take this fight on five days' notice? I think so, Derek. I, and I don't know if it was just me and, and the people I was watching the fight with, but I I thought Morono was winning this fight, man. He was winning this fight, at least in my mind. I might, not, I might have to go back and watch it again because, like I said, it could be a little biased going for uh, Morono. But I thought he was winning this fight until he wasn't. He was looking good. He was walking him down. He was he was landing the bigger of the shots, looking like he was hurting Ponzinibbio. And then you're right, Derek. Round three comes in. Ponzinibbio really starts to put it on him, really starts to have the kind of Ponzinibbio fight we're used to. And Morono eats, eats a rough one, man. Overhand right, puts him to sleep. It's a, it was a, I still think it was a great call for Morono on a five days notice because he looks sharp, man. He showed that if you're in there, you're training, you're, you're staying consistent, you're doing the things you need to do in the gym, you can make reads all day long. And sure, you, 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 you lost the fight, but I feel like he had a good showing and, and still won a lot of fans, Derek. You feel the same way? Yeah, I think he definitely won a lot of fans here. I mean, I'm still a big fan of him. And I think part in part why he took this fight, he said he was like, listen, I think I'm trying to rub shoulders with the bosses because I want to fight on that Houston card in March or whenever it is uh, next year. And he was all like, if this is what I got to do, this is what I got to do. You got to think Dana White came up to him and, and said a little, we don't know what he said, but said a little something, something to him after the fight. So, you know, when you do a favor for the boss, you're going to get rewarded back. What does it mean to you that the eye test, it looked like Morono won, but he was outstruck all three rounds and he ended up being outstruck by about 30 strikes in total for the fight? Yeah, uh, and and to me personally, I like I said, I think it's a little bit of a biasy thing. Yeah. But I I thought I had Morono winning the power. You know, every shot that Morono had, he, he definitely looked like he or uh, San Ponzinibbio felt like he felt it a little more. Mm-hmm. But I'm not surprised that he, uh, Ponzinibbio outstruck him because that is a Ponzinibbio trait. You know, this dude is throwing p- pressure all day long. Absolutely. And it's good for Ponzinibbio to, to get back in the win column. This is his first win since 2021 after coming against bad uh, split decision losses, man, to Jeff Neal and Michel Paeda. So I think we're in a good spot right here. Not a lot to say overall because, like I said, the stakes have changed massively. You're supposed to fight Robbie Lawler, then you get Alex Morono. Right now, it's still this middle ground for Ponzinibbio. Like, where are we going? But I will say very valiant performance. And that third round TKO, man, you, it's not often you see a uh, Alex Morono get finished. And I'm actually going to look it up real quick. This was only the second time he's been finished in his UFC tenure. The only other time came against Chaos Williams back in 2020 when he just starched him in that first round. So big win by the Argentine dagger.